UK. <laughs> Good morning everyone and welcome to another video. We are filming from a pretty epic spot right now and so I thought I would show you that in a minute but obviously today this video is what I eat in a day and I am doing this video again because I did it a few weeks ago and it's one of my most successful videos like a van life vegan mum what I eat in a day and so you guys really really liked that and I thought I would do it again because we are currently in a new climate it's a little bit colder up here as you can probably tell it's super early in the morning right now and um, so this is gonna be a kind of what I eat in a day in colder weather I'm also a little bit sick as you can probably hear <clears throat> my glands are a little bit swollen I'm quite sniffly and I've got a bit of a cough and unfortunately Tyler woke up with a little bit of a cough as well after me having this for about three days. This is going to be a really simple what I eat in the day video so I really hope you like it. And just a bit of backstory for those of you who may be new around here. My name is Natalie and me, my partner and our baby boy or not our baby boy, our toddler Tallo live in our bus and that is what we like to vlog about predominantly. We like to make videos about our lifestyle so van life, veganism, parenting we like to vlog about the beautiful places that we visit and all that kind of good stuff so um, if you're new around here then welcome and without further ado I'm gonna go get into this video I am having some warm chamomile tea we've just come and parked out in part of this beautiful area and we made a tea we got up early and the sun is rising the bus is just about five minutes walk down a dirt road that way welcome guys welcome to the blue mountains For breakfast on this morning, I decided to make some warm porridge. I made enough of this for both me, Zach and Tallow, so I did about a cup and a half of oats with equal amounts of almond milk. And then I added a little bit of cinnamon and a dash of maple syrup. I cooked this on the stove and as you can see, it's super, super creamy. I decided to plate this up with some banana, a whole lot of hemp seeds, which I absolutely love putting on porridge and granola, some more maple syrup, of course, and a big dollop of peanut butter topped off with some coconut milk. This was so warm, creamy, and yummy, the perfect breakfast for cold weather. For a mid-morning snack, we decided to have a chocolate milkshake. We made this by simply adding one frozen banana, a whole lot of ice, some cacao, cinnamon, and coconut milk to our blender. And yeah, blending it all up, it was super, super frothy and creamy and absolutely delicious. The perfect mid-morning snack, if you ask me. Something that we have been doing since being in the Blue Mountains is filling up our water tanks for the bus at this beautiful spring that someone told us about. We went to this spring, filled up our tanks, and I made sure I had about a liter of water in between my last snack and lunch. This water is so, so beautiful, so refreshing, and yeah, obviously it's so amazing collecting your own water from the earth. Zach decided to make us some bread with vegan mayonnaise, some sliced tomato, and just a little bit of red onion. It truly is the simple foods that make my taste buds go crazy. For lunch, we decided to heat up some leftover curry that we had. So me and Zach shared this and we had it on a bed of quinoa. 
I also made a little salad on the side and as you can see it's just some beautiful fresh rocket and lettuce with some red onion, tomato, green peppers and then I drizzled some olive oil on top of it with a squeeze of lime and of course some nutritional yeast. In the afternoon, I decided to make a warm chai. I simply mixed some blue spirulina powder with some spices and a little bit of maple syrup in coconut milk. For dinner, we decided to have a pumpkin soup. There is nothing quite like a good pumpkin soup on a cold day. I dry roasted some cumin seeds and then I added the onion and garlic. I added some coconut milk into the pan and let that all fry up together and then I added some more water, a little bit more coconut milk and I added in the potato and the pumpkin. Whilst I was waiting for that to cook, I got out some of this beautiful spelt sourdough that we had and cut it up so that it was ready to go for us. I also cut up some cos lettuce that we had left over, which needed to be used. When the soup was ready, I placed about half of what was there into our blender and blended it until smooth. I added a little bit more salt. Once that was blended quite well, I added that to the big pot. And so you kind of had this really yummy, creamy soup, but with some really good chunks of potato and pumpkin in it. I served this with some nutritional yeast and of course the bread and cos lettuce and we ate this outside together as a family in the playground where we had parked up. So that is what I ate on a cold, crisp autumn's day in the mountains. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I had lots of fun filming it. I edited it a little bit differently to how I normally edit videos and I hope that you liked that. It is the next day now and we are currently out in the bush in the Blue Mountains at a free camping spot. So the boys have just, I'm just standing at the foot of the door because I realized I had to end this video. Um, so the boys have just gone like up here and yeah they've gone to a lookout, walk to a lookout. So I'm gonna go follow them now, catch up with them. I'm so excited to be in this area and to film another video and kind of show you guys around. So definitely subscribe if you haven't already so that you can see what we get up to up here in the Blue Mountains. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a big thumbs up if you did because it really helps support me and my family's channel. Um, leave us a comment down below if you have any questions about the kinds of foods that we eat or what we like to cook and all that kind of stuff and I guess we'll see you in the next video. Bye!